hey y'all and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing my first vlog of day in the life in a mom of two toddlers and one with special needs so i just want to show you guys a day in the life of what it's like for me maybe it's the same for you or maybe it's similar if you are a mom with two children or two toddlers if you want to see a day in the life make sure you keep watching <music> So it is 7.30 in the morning and the kids just head straight to the table. We all head to breakfast after I change DJ's diaper and I make a smoothie every morning along with whatever else they may want, like cereal or anything. But I make sure they have a smoothie because that's one of the only times where they will eat <laughs> their actual greens or veggies. I sneak in some spinach and um, here I have banana strawberries and apples so i add almond milk and yeah i just blend it up for them So here you see the smoothie just blending up. I grab the kids cups and uh, DJ is still using a sippy cup. We're still working on him drinking and eating independently. Sometimes he has a hard time and will choke. So I just fill his up halfway, give Gia hers, and then I make my smoothie. And as you guys will see, my hair isn't done. <laughs> we literally just woke up because I wanted to show you guys the reality of just waking up without makeup or a perfect look. It's just how we woke up. And now I'm making the kids some cereal because they are always still hungry even after the smoothie. So just gonna give them some cereal on the side of that smoothie. And now I'm making my coffee. I don't drink my coffee right away. I just let it sit in there for maybe an hour or two, get nice and hot while I'm doing things around the house and then I'll come back to it. So when I feed DJ and I take his bowl away when he's done, he is so greedy. He literally flips out and cries because he wants more food, even if he's full. And then I just give the kids their vitamins after breakfast. I just put the kids their clothes on and we all get dressed for today and I'm showing you guys their piled up laundry basket because honestly I've been so tired I'm slacking in their laundry but now we're just brushing our teeth we get a call from daddy <laughs> Gia's always so excited to talk to her daddy but then after we brush our teeth and everything I just straighten up the kids room and make sure it's all nice and tidy in there
Okay, y'all, so after getting the kids dressed, cleaning up the kitchen, the living room and their room, I actually had to change their outfits because it got a little bit dirty, but so they got an outfit change and I came in here, I got myself dressed, did my hair. I usually don't do makeup, but I'm going to do makeup today because I had a few breakouts and yeah, I just want to cover that up. Because I'm at home most of the time with the kids, but my makeup uh, is pretty light just do a light concealer a little bit of foundation maybe eyebrows and mascara and then i am good so i'm just gonna do that and i have no idea where all my brushes are that is called life with toddlers um last time i saw a brush i know that my son was chewing on it <laughs> and i took it and then he somehow got it again and ever since then it's been missing so i'm just literally gonna finger tap it like i said i'm at home if it's not perfect it's okay so just literally just putting on my fingers i also do this sometimes when i'm in a rush um but you know nothing fancy i'm not going to like a ball or church i may take a little bit more time but So while I'm doing my makeup, the kids are just in the living room watching cartoons. Most times I will put DJ in his chair because he tends to get into a ton of things and it's hard to do what I'm doing and chase him around. So just do my eyebrows. So makeup is done. I'm looking cute for today. <laughs> and now it's time to go make the kids some lunch. Okay guys, now that lunch is done, Gia is going to sit on the couch, watch probably something um on pbs kids and it is his nap time so i'll be putting him down for a nap and coming back out Okay, hey y'all, so now that DJ is down, usually the afternoon can go <laughs> 100 ways. I don't really have a set routine or schedule, but it's just me and Gia. We usually hang out. We practice her letters. She may go on ABC Mouse, um, and I'll help her with that, or I'll let her do ABC Mouse on the computer while I get some me time. I may work out, may read a little bit of my Bibles, um, or, you know, take care of business, make some phone calls, but it's me and her now that he's down. So Gia, after she's done with the foam letters, or she may get a little bored with the foam letters, I'll have her do ABC Mouse on the laptop while I'm doing her hair. I don't do her hair every day. I do it every two to three days. And what I'll do is I'll just moisturize it and then I'll braid it up and she'll be good to go. And so I'm just eating a little bit of lunch, some rice and taking my vitamins, which I forgot to take in the morning. <laughs> so I'll take them sometimes at lunch if I forget. And we just do ABC Mouse while DJ is taking a nap. And also Gia is being homeschooled. She'll be officially homeschooled in the fall. So we're practicing um, all of our homeschool activities. Who's woke? <laughs> His nap is usually every day from noon and then he'll nap for like an hour, hour and a half. But today he napped a little longer for about like two hours because last night he was up most of the night tossing and turning, waking up. He's teething right now. So his schedule is just a tiny bit off, but he's woke. So now I'm just gonna get, get him up, bring him out there. I'm almost done with Gia's hair. So I put um, DJ in his chair right here really quick while I finished up Gia's hair. Her hair is good to go, all oh, done. Hi. Say hi. Hi. 
So after I'm done with Gia's hair, I just make a snack for DJ. He's pretty hungry when he wakes up from his nap. And I have to watch what I feed him because he doesn't do well with acidic foods because he has acid reflux. And also dairy makes his reflux um, act up as well. So I just give him a turkey sandwich. He can have a little bit of mayo on it. And that is his after nap snack. Normally I would be in the kitchen right now, but around 3.30 to 4 every day I prep and then I start cooking dinner. And sometimes the Nezra will be off in time around 5 or 6 and we all eat dinner around 5 or 6. Sometimes if he had a heavy load at work or if he had a heavy day, then um, I'll just wrap his plate up and it'll be ready when he gets home. But since it's Friday, um, a lot of Fridays, Denezer will just pick up dinner so I don't have to cook. Um, on some Fridays, I still do cook. So since I have a little bit of extra free time on my hands, I just let the kids play in here while I finish up a little bit of housework, do whatever I have to do around here. Uh, maybe if the tub needs to be clean, I'll clean it. That way, when it's time for bath time before bed, the kids will have a you know tub. It'll be clean. Just put them in there. DJ would actually be in therapy if it wasn't for quarantine. He was getting physical therapy, occupational therapy, and he had a teacher. So he was in a therapy program because like I was telling you guys, with Down syndrome, a lot of times their muscles are weaker, um, their muscles and joints. So they have to be in therapy to learn how to crawl, walk, and all that good stuff. They usually learn how to later than typical kids. So he'll be resuming therapy pretty soon. What are you doing? <laughs> like literally, I'm on my feet all day long. He's always climbing tables and just getting into stuff. He is so busy. I have days where I sit down sometimes for a little bit. But on most days, I'm up on my feet chasing him. Nezer brought home pizza for the kids and DJ will eat the crust while Gia eats pizza. So I have a bunch of different... Not a bunch, but like vegan burgers, a kale veggie burger, and different things. So I'll probably just make this on a bun, and it's vegan. Okay, so it's approaching 6 o'clock, and usually at 6, I give the kids a bath. And how I usually do it is I bathe them individually because Gia hates when DJ splashes her. She cannot stand it. Okay. okay, so what I'll do is I'll bathe her in the tub and have him sitting in his what? chair while I'm bathing her. And then when she's done, I'll let her watch cartoons or sit on the couch while I bathe him in his baby tub. Or if Denezer is off early that day, he'll help bathe one of the kids. So bathe DJ while I bathe Gia. But for the sake of time and... Because Denezer is super tired, he just got off work. I'm going to just try to bathe them both. Hopefully, Gia doesn't get too upset because he's <laughs> splashing her. Mommy, you ready for bath time? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. I hope it's not hot or cold. <laughs> it's not gonna be too hot. So after I give DJ and Gia a bath, I just come into the kitchen, clean up after dinner, and I clean up the living room too. Now it's time to wind down for bed. Kids are right here. And for the past two weeks, they've been sleeping in my bed, even though they were <laughs> sleeping in their own bed and crib. Gia's just having a sleep regression. She's also having a potty training regression. Even though she's fully potty trained, I understand like it's normal with toddlers, but so she wears a pull-up at night. I make sure she goes to the bathroom before bed, but I'm trying to transition them back into their own. Hopefully, I can do that this weekend. But for now, for tonight, we're winding down. We're about to get in the bed and try to put them to sleep. Right? Because I had a bath. They had some baths and bedtime. Hey, y'all. So, the kids just went down. It's a little past 9.30 and I finally got them down. It was a struggle as it always is with DJ, but they're finally down now. It's night and it's time for me. What I usually do is I'll shower 
um, and then I'll maybe read a little bit of Bible or, or if the Nezra is up, we'll spend a little bit of time together. If he's not asleep or exhausted from work, we'll have our time together. But other than that, if he's not wolf, it's just time for me and just get on my laptop, do a few things, browse a little bit and just kind of chill a little bit before I go to bed. But Thank you guys for watching our day in the life. If you liked watching this day in the life, if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And also if you want to see more content like this and the content on my channel, subscribe. <laughs> also make sure you hit the bell button. That way you'll be notified every time I upload. And I'll see y'all in the next video. I love y'all so much. Have a great night, great morning, whatever time of day it is. <laughs>